speaker Miss Jale Tabizi, uh, human rights activist from Azerbaijan. Uh, she has an MA in um, management. She will speak about uh, arrests on the day of uh, on the International Day of Mother Tongue in Tehran and Azerbaijan. Greetings uh, to all of you. Thanks for being here. I will speak about incarceration of Azerbaijanis uh, education of the day, um, International Day of Mother Tongue. Violation of human rights in Azerbaijan by the Islamic Republic has continued uh, for 35 years. Defenders of uh, civil rights, mother tongue, and environment, and uh, supporters of uh, sport teams uh, are incarcerated, uh, tortured, or exiled. The 20th of February of 2014, more than 100 persons who were civil rights activists in Azerbaijan, in different cities of Azerbaijan, were arrested, uh, including in Ahar, uh, in the city of Ahar, where 60 persons were arrested. Tabriz, Mogan, Bonab, Kaleibar, Malakan, and in Tehran included. They were gathered uh, to celebrate um, the International Day of Mother Tongue and uh, to uh, recite poetry in their mother tongue. So security agents uh, uh, invaded their homes and arrested them. These unjustified arrest, arrests um, met uh, the resistance of civil uh, activists, so um, they were uh, battered by the security agents, they were severely beaten, um, and under threat of violence and under armed threat they were arrested. Uh, a letter was published, uh, written by seven of these activists to the head of the Ju Justice Department of Ahar that was protesting against uh, torture and confessions that were uh, obtained under torture. Uh, I have this letter here. If you want, uh, I will read you out this letter if there is time. Malakan, two, acti two Azerbaijan activists uh, called Sajjad Afruzan and Karim Fayozi uh, were arrested by Etelad agents, uh, security agents, uh, intelligence agents, and they were transferred to unknown places. Some of the activists in Islam Shahr and Akbarabad in Tehran and Nasim Shahr, a neighborhood of Ajabad, were arrested. Uh, security agents and the police agents uh, attacked them with sticks and uh, tear gas, uh, and uh, they were arrested. The names of these people uh, can be seen in this slide behind me. More than 61 persons have uh, been uh, identified. These arrests in relation uh, to Mother Tongue Day has continued for have continued for two days. This oppression has put to question all the uh, promises of Mr. Hassan Rouhani related to uh, education in mother tongue and the creation of uh, the constitutional um, organization of uh, Azari or uh, the Azerbaijan Turkish language. Uh, at the wake of this International Day of Mother Tongue, the pressure uh, has increased on uh, national activists. They, many of them have been arrested, uh, these activists who wanted uh, education in mother tongue. Uh, I mentioned all the um, international treaties and conventions that the Islamic Republic have joined. Uh, um, we all know about this. I don't want to uh, go into details. Education in mother tongue is a main demand of all non-Persian uh, ethnicities in Iran. Uh, despite all these demands, uh, uh, during 35 years, the Islamic Republic has not even um, actually implemented the two principles of um, 
uh, its own constitution that require education in the mother tongue. Those who want uh, to, uh, who actually, who are uh, acting for education in mother tongue, they are being arrested and harassed. According to the Minister of Education, uh, in 2009, 70% of uh, Iranian uh, students uh, are bilingual, which means that only 30% of Iranian uh, children um, are, um, have Persian mother tongue. So 70% uh, are deprived of a uh, right education in their mother tongue. And this has uh, negative consequences on their development. It is difficult to believe that the majority in the country do not have the right to uh, get education in their mother tongue. For non-Iranians, it is uh, difficult to believe. But 70% of Iranian population are witnessing such uh, discrimination. The government continues this discriminatory policy, and that's why um, opposition to discrim uh, cultural discrimination has become a main uh, demand of Azerbaijani and other uh, civil activists in Iran. Um, the majority of those who drop out of school are non-Persian people because they don't study in their own uh, language. Uh, despite uh, Mr. Rouhani's uh, promises uh, in, uh, regarding execution of the, um, Article 15 of the Constitution and the creation of the Academy of uh, Azerbaijani language uh, and bringing, uh, channeling the water from Caspian Sea to Lake Orumia and all of these, uh, they have not. Uh, uh, delivered actually and all uh, realization of all these promises have met the opposition of the centrist uh, the academy of uh, persian uh, language um, has opposed um, uh, in a narrow-minded way with uh, rohani's promises uh, so uh, teaching, um, they have interpreted uh, that the teaching of other languages uh, will be a threat to the Persian language. I should also mention uh, discrimination against Azerbaijanis in um, terms of uh, uh, sports. Uh, the supporters of Azerbaijani teams are very badly treated uh, in uh, sport uh, competitions, uh, in uh, the matches between the uh, the tractor sazi uh, football team and other teams they are uh, regularly insulted and these insults are being broadcast through the um, state tv <laughs> So among the Azerbaijani prisoners, the supporters of Tractor Sazi are the second biggest group. According, um, one of these is uh, Said Metinpur, and he has been accused of uh, plotting against uh, the security of the state and uh, attachment to separatist groups. So the racist um, treatment of Azerbaijanis have continued and uh, it has been encouraged by the Islamic Republic. I should say that the branch 110 of uh, Ardabir Tribunal uh, uh, under the presence of uh, Judge Madani has um, actually um, called uh, seven civil activists who were um, uh, active in, uh, regarding the situation of Lake Omar Rumia. Uh, discrimination also governs environmental uh, issues because uh, the management of these issues are not uh, confided to uh, competent manage local managers, but uh, military people are governing these issues. Uh, but concerns economy, there is also blatant discrimination, there is no industry or occupational opportunities for people who graduate from Azerbaijani um, universities and they have to go uh, to Tehran and Isfahan and other cities uh, to find jobs. But this is only half of the truth um, in terms of economic, uh, more than, if not more than economic issues, the cultural and political issues are as important at least, thanks to all of you.